everybody, and welcome back to another Rosh Reviews, where today we're in an AUXR8 <laughs> that is supercharged, and yes, I have been waiting this my entire life. I've been waiting for this my entire life, because you know how much I love a good AU, guys, and this particular one, it's a ute, it's got a tray in the back, and we got a supercharger. Yeah, this thing is gonna be epic. Now, if you guys are enjoying this content, please remember, if you wanna support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt like what I'm wearing today, the Up The AU shirt. So, links are in the description. I do have a merch shop. That is always a massive help, guys. Oh, and just the downshifts you can do with this thing, just the verbals when you can heel tow this thing and <laughs> oh my god this is how you do a bloody Windsor and far out I am just getting used to this car guys and Let's just, let's settle down here because man, this is quite an AU. I have never seen a supercharged Windsor because look, it does take quite a bit of money to do one of these things properly. And originally naturally aspirated, would have had 200 kilowatts, about that 430-ish newton meters range. Mate, they were already such a beautiful ute. Uh, such a great motor, you know, hand-built Aussie motors, these things. And to see a supercharger on this one now pushing, you ready? 450 rear wheel horsepower. It's making like 800 something Newton meters. Yeah, this is healthy in a ute with a five-speed manual. Oh, it's sweet. particular ute does have some pretty nice mods on it so starting off look we've got the Vortec V2 side mounted supercharger and it's running about 14 psi here and mate to see this it's freaking awesome and to drive it let me tell you it's even better and this isn't all that this car's got you know we've got a custom exhaust it's got high flow cats it does have the pacemaker four to ones up front. So, mate, this thing sounds absolutely insane and I just can't get enough of it. We are running 19 inch D-speed wheels here, which they do scrub a little bit up the front, but they're 10 and a half at the rear, nine and a half up front. We definitely need that extra grip and <laughs> man, it is good. I've got to watch the scrubbing on this car, but <laughs> listen to the exhaust on this thing. And it just fills the whole cabin. Like it's such an immersive experience driving this car. You get that supercharger sound the motor screaming that exhaust just sounds absolutely fantastic and we do have a rip shift in this t5 and it is tight it is exactly how you want to run it look at this car you know you got that xr8 the front end the quad lights up front i was never really a big fan but it's really grown on me and this whole the whole AU car generation, it's just aging like fine wine. Every AU, it's a cult following and it's simply because they're so damn good. They don't die, they're rock solid reliable wise. You just love these things as soon as you step in and drive one. You can't spell beautiful without AU and my goodness, this is awesome. It 
was always a bit of a shame that they never officially got the 220 Big Boy Windsor, but you can open these things up. You look at this one, mate, 450 rear wheel horsepower. I just can't stop saying it because <laughs> I hope that sound is coming through. Oh, it's good. I wish my exhaust mic had a way to connect because being the tray back, it's just too far away to get on there, but... <laughs> oh, it's so good, man. It is just so good. The AU. Just getting on it again a little bit here. my god and thankfully he does have upgraded tickford brakes up front so that's actually a pretty desirable mod here and you need it when you're pushing this power oh it's just so good the noise it's and the gearbox this is awesome this is <laughs> It don't get much better than this, people. It really doesn't. Oh, <laughs> I, I gotta get one of these because I just tell you right now, guys, the T5 with a rip shift, it is absolute perfection. The exhaust on this, the throttle response, just the blips, how you can just heel toe this thing. It is unlike any other AU I have ever been in. And I've been in a lot of really nice AUs. And this right here, oh my word. Like, this is honestly how you would think the TE and TS50 should came. You know, they, they should have come like this from factory because holy shit, this is awesome. Like, this is perfect. This is exactly what you would want from an XR8. It's no wonder these things are fetching the money they're fetching today because if you want to buy a nice XR8 ute, manual, mate, you're going to be looking minimum that 15 to 20 grand mark. And, you know, depending on case and condition, it's only going to go up. Now, visually, this thing, you know, when I first seen it coming in, I wasn't sure on the condition of this car, but when I see it in person, it's actually pretty damn impressive for a 2001 AU. Like, the paint is reasonable condition. It has had a respray. Even on the interior here, the seats are in reasonable condition, you know. It's a pretty nice example for an XR8, I must say. And I really do appreciate the aftermarket bonnet that is on this. You know, it's got that bulge on it so it's kind of like you know the b series in a way but it actually really does suit the look of this thing i personally think and just coming down into this real tight hairpin oh the downshifts are just so bloody good gotta be careful around this real tight corner and then you get on it a bit strong it's got so much life in it and you bring it around here again man it's just so good oh this is heaven it is so good This is how I wish my old BA XR8 drove. If it drove like this, I would have never sold it, honestly. Like, the throttle response, the blips, the exhaust, just how this thing actually builds power and just goes, like, it just hauls. Wow, like, this is exactly how you want your XR8 to be like, wow. And 
You know, look, we did recently just do a supercharged VA XR8, and it had the five-speed manual. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I like this more. I, like, this might not be as technically fast as that boss, but it just feels like it's got a little bit more charm and character to it, and just the throttle response and noise this just has life and yeah i really really did love that supercharged ba but man it's something about these au's something about it i love this thing now zero to 100 guys we are on this back road Traction is definitely going to be its issue. I'm not sure what this thing will be claimed at, but we're going to find out. So, just going to reset the draggy here. We're stopped. I've reset it now. Here we go, guys. So. was done in 6.1 seconds guys and <laughs> this thing lit it up man um yeah traction is just really really hard to get with this car and uh yeah look unfortunately it, <laughs> i don't think i'll be getting better than that on this back road but if you know if you had the right tires that were really sticky you're on the drag strip man man i honestly think you would be getting very close to those five seconds and in a manual old AU like this, that is bloody impressive. It really is. Now I'm going to finish the video off here today, guys. So a huge, huge thank you to the owner for bringing down his supercharged AU XR8 because, man, I am yet to drive an AU that is as nice as this. Just the way the gearbox is, the rip shift in it, that Windsor motor, man, with that supercharger, it is heaven. And the noise, yeah, this this is just an AU dream. And I absolutely cannot fault this thing. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We'll see you on that next video.